babysitters of Redditors, what is funniest or NSFW or scariest incident that happened when you babysit? Babysat twin nine-year-old boys a few years ago. The parents didn't even leave the house, they just locked themselves upstairs, while I played video games, and made dinner for the kids. I had to keep making the games louder, to cover up the sounds that were coming out of the bedroom. A mixture of pain and pleasure. That's amazing. When will you be back? Oh, we're not leaving, but there isn't enough therapy in the world to make you okay with what you would see if you opened the bedroom door. We'll be done at 8. I babysit this funny as duck British kid. Her parents are the absolute coolest, and always told me to feel free to bring friends over. One night, I brought over my boyfriend, a bearded dude with long hair, and a fear of children. She told me she was scared of him. I went upstairs to put her sister to bed, before you guys say, how mean I am for leaving her with someone she told me she was afraid of, I told her to join me and she refused. Flash forward, 10 minutes later, and I'm back downstairs where I find her braiding his hair, and telling him she loves him. He was definitely more afraid. A spider was crawling on the ground, so the three-year-old whipped out his ennis, and started peeing on it. Boys are like that. When my middle son was two, he pissed on chicken once. Kid had a seizure. I thought he was throwing a tantrum. I said fine, you can have a cookie. But only one. Then his sister came, and told me what was going on. Yeah that wasn't fun. First time babysitting, and his 12 year old sister has to take the ropes, and handle her brother having a seizure. Apparently they weren't all that rare, and were pretty mild, but it sure threw me for a loop, especially since I hadn't been informed of this kid's epilepsy. That should have been pretty high up on the list of things to tell the babysitter. When I was 16, I was babysitting my cousin's four-year-old. He and I were briefly speaking on the phone, and when I got off the line, I could not find her anywhere. Needless to say, I lost my shit and freaked the duck out. I knew that her favorite game was hide and go seek so I started wandering around the house, and playfully saying, where is she? Is she in the kitchen, silence. Is she in the bathroom, silence. Is she in the closet, and from the closet I hear, no. Toddlers, cute and terrifying. If you enjoy this video then press the like button, and subscribe to the channel. This will really help me. Babysitting a two-year-old girl, that I worked with at the daycare I taught at. I put her in her crib, and I go out to watch TV, when I hear something over the baby monitor. I turn it up, and she's whispering row 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 row, and then suddenly she screamed super loud. She kept doing this over and over, and it got creepier and creepier, until I remember that, we had just taught the kids in the daycare a new verse to row 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 your boat. If you see a crocodile, don't forget to scream, and then everyone screams. I felt so bad for teaching her that, she must have freaked her parents out a lot. That's not even all the right words. Had a babysitter when I was like 6 or 7 every few nights. She used to walk around in a thong, and one time I asked if I could see her boobs, so she showed them to me. Pretty sure if I was a rat bastard, she could have gotten in huge trouble, but a pimp never snitches. Was she an overnight baby sister? How old was she? How well did she know your family? You can choose to believe me or not, but I was a victim of circumstances. My friends were going out, but I was full of cold, and didn't have the energy. I get a call from a neighbor, asking if I could babysit that night. It was a no-brainer really, just sit on the couch and watch TV. It's worth noting here, that this was when Sky TV had not long come out in the UK, you could get channels from all over Europe too, and we didn't have it in our house, so it was a good opportunity to watch some new movies. Anyway. So the kids go to bed, I watch TV and as the evening wears on, 
I start channel hopping, and stumbled across Jaws 3 in German, I was quite enjoying the poor quality voices etc. Then drifted off into a deep sleep. I was woken around midnight by the owner, who told me it was time to go. However, Jaws 3 was no longer on the TV, it was a strange German orno, involving two young ladies and a farmer. Now if that wasn't bad enough, on the floor next to me, was a bunch of scrunched up tissues I'd been using to blow my nose on. I didn't even bother to explain. If you enjoy this video then press the like button, and subscribe to the channel. This will really help me. Not a babysitter, but dated one in high school. We had just started dating, and she had to babysit a couple of her neighbor's boys, who I'm going to estimate were around 8 to 10 years old. Her game plan for the night was to have the kids in bed by 8 p.m., and get cozy on the couch. What she ended up getting was an hour of cartoons, followed by a 17-year-old guy wearing a Donatello Ninja Turtle mask, and Plastic Bow being chased around by two boys with plastic swords. I can't even count how many times she said alright guys I think it's time for bed. Weird moment number one from that night, she says you're going to have a lot of growing up to do before we have kids. Relationship didn't last a month. Afterward she published a poem about my small Ennis, to her MySpace account. Weird moment number two, her parents getting home, and seeing a strange car in the driveway rushing into the house, and seeing their children beating up a 17-year-old with toys, whilst the sitter is sitting on the couch reading Cosmo. First thing they said is we're not paying you to. Good times. I've been working with kids for over 15 years, mostly as a nanny and man, I have seen some shit. But here's the one that scarred me for life. I was babysitting a brother, 9, and sister, 7, who always acted out pretty badly. They had the kind of parents who were more concerned with being their kids' buddies than being actual parents. It's a recipe for disaster. These kids were pretty disrespectful towards me, and downright nasty towards each other. One night I was making dinner in the kitchen, while they were watching TV in the living room. I had a clear view of them, and could hear them arguing about what to watch. When the sister refused to change the channel, the brother whipped out his Ennis, stood over her, and threatened to pee on her unless she changed the channel. When she called out for me he changed tactics, and full on smacked her in the face with his little wang. I just stood there, horrified, no idea how to address what just happened. I ended up telling him to pull up his pants, and continued cooking. Because Jesus ducking Christ that shit was way beyond my skill level. When I was around 16, I babysat for a family friend, while they went to a dinner party. Four boys, ages 12 to 6 or so. The family were dogsitting a huge Rottweiler, and the youngest boy had a pet gerbil. An hour or so goes by, and I've exhausted most of my ideas to keep the boys entertained, so I take them out front to play home run derby. After a few rounds, the oldest hits the ball over the house, and into their backyard, so I send him to get it. Minutes pass and he doesn't return. So I send the second oldest to check on him. After a few minutes he doesn't return either. I start to worry, so I take the two youngest with me into the house. As soon as I open the door, I hear screaming and start to freak. I run to the kitchen to find both boys in hysterics, crying on the phone. They're so worked up I can't understand what they're saying. That's when I notice the screen door to the backyard had been torn open. I walk toward the backyard, and that's when I see it, their headless pet gerbil hanging out of the Rottweiler's mouth. Currently babysit 9 and 12 year old boys. They have a lot of energy, actually they're just flat out nuts, and so there is constant rough housing. One time, the 12 year old got a little cut on his leg, and started bleeding. I went to look at it, but he flinched and pushed me away. Then he proceeded to wipe the blood off of his leg, streak it under each eye, and hiss at me. The pay is good. When I was 21, 
I was a nanny for a four-year-old girl. We had finished swimming at their country club, and were in the locker room changing. As I was changing my top, she looks at me and says my mom has those too. I asked her what does she have, and she said breasts. I didn't say anything, and just continued getting dressed. She paused for a second, and then said except hers are really, long. I had to bite my cheek to keep from laughing. Someone hacked the video baby monitor, while I was nannying once. I put the kid down for a nap, and went down to make myself lunch, with the monitor set up on the kitchen counter. I heard some small noises from it, but assumed it was him moving around in his sleep. Then the guy hacking into it started singing Rockabye Baby in this creepy childlike voice. I ran up to the kid's room, thinking someone had broken in, and freaked the duck out. Took me about 10 minutes to realize it was coming from the monitor, guy kept singing as I was panicking, the asshole, and I unplugged that shit. The parents flipped when I told them, and got the cops involved. A few days later they found out it was the neighbor, some 30-something dude living in his parents' basement. Thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe.